Hey guys, welcome back. Glad to see you today. Today we're going to be talking about the United States and the regions of the United States and the Northeast states. Now, you guys are going to have to learn the states and capitals of the Northeast and uh, the other regions. But today we're going to start out with the Northeast states so that you can, you know, get started on it. So let's, uh, teachers, if you haven't passed out the region map, go ahead and pass that out because I want them to fill out what regions that we have in the United States. So sh your map should look like this right here, okay? So what we have are five political regions. Now there are two types of regions that we look at with the United States. One of those being a physical region, which means it would be based on like mountains and lakes and rivers. The other is based on borders, like state borders. If you look, you see Kentucky here, the political regions are based on the state borders, okay? So what we're gonna look at first, and the ones you're gonna have to know for your first states and capitals quiz, are the Northeast region. Now the Northeast region is up here at number 12, and what I'd like you to do is take time and write down through here the Northeast region. Region number 11 is where Kentucky's located. Region number 11 is the southeast region. So right southeast down by 11. Region number 10 here is actually the Middle West. Okay, so you're going to write Middle West in here. That's going to include your interior plains and don't have a lot of trees there and not a lot of mountains. The next one, ah, we're going to skip over nine and go to eight. Eight is the West region. Now you can see California is out here. You heard of the West Coast before? California is there in the West region. In number nine, we have the Southwest region, which includes Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. Not very many states in the Southwest, but it's still an important place. Now there is a video in your uh, email teachers that talks about regions. It's going to show them a few pictures about what it looks like in each one of those regions. So take a few minutes and watch that video and I'll see you in just a second. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Now we're going to talk about the Northeast and you're going to have to label your map. So flip your map over that kind of looks like this, except mine's a little bit more bigger so that you can see it. Um, but we're looking at the Northeast region. Now the first state that we're going to talk about is New Hampshire. Now I'm going to try to give you a few little clues to help you learn these states and where they're located better, okay? And um, if you pay attention to the shapes of the states, sometimes that helps. So with New Hampshire, to me, it looks like a small backwards H. You see how that outline of that looks like a small backwards H. Now, what I make my eighth graders do is if it's not big enough for you to write in there, then you better make you a dot and a line. So there's our dot in New Hampshire and our line. That lets me know that that's where New Hampshire is. Now you could write New Hampshire over here and not have anything close to it and I wouldn't know which state you were talking about, would I? But with a dot and a line out to New Hampshire, I know that you know that's New Hampshire, okay? The next state you're going to do is Vermont. Now there's a little key with this one too. To me, a lot of people get Vermont and New Hampshire messed up. Vermont looks like a V, see? So we're going to put our dot in our line and that's Vermont. The next state is Rhode Island. Rhode Island is the smallest state. Can you find it up here? I'm sure you can. See here? That little area right there is Rhode Island. So put your dot in the middle of it and a line out to Rhode Island. Maryland. Now Maryland is a little tricky, okay? So if you look down here, this, most people think all of that is Maryland. You see the little line that goes across this, this tip here? That line actually indicates that this is part of Virginia, not Maryland. So don't draw your dot here because then you won't be in Maryland. Draw your dot over here and that is Maryland. Delaware. 
pretty close to Maryland. Looks like an L right here. Del la where? So right here looks like an L. You're gonna put your dot in the middle and draw your line out to Delaware. Now I know we're making a lot of dots and lines, but if you look, that area has lots of states and they're really small, so it's hard to write in them. Okay? We'll get a couple here in just a minute that you can write on. New Jersey, another small one, right here. This right here is New Jersey. Make sure you put your dot in your line and write New Jersey. All right, one that's big enough to fit in there. Pennsylvania, you should be able to fit all of yours in there. I have to make mine big enough so you can see it. But this is Pennsylvania. Massachusetts, oh no, another dot and line. But Massachusetts has an original shape. See here, looks like a boot. Okay, so this is Massachusetts. Ah, another one we don't need a dot and line. New York. Now this area here is New York. This little island right here is actually part of New York as well, but it's known as Long Island. Um, you could put it there, but that's probably not as accurate. So put it here in New York and you know you're going to have it right. Okay? Connecticut. A lot of people get Connecticut and Rhode Island confused. Eh, they're side by side. Remember, Rhode Island is the smallest and that might help. But Connecticut is this one. Dot, line, there you go. It's Connecticut. And the last one. Maine. Now Maine is up here. See? You got room to write that one. Maine. Now Maine has an interesting story. Maine was actually a part of Massachusetts for a very long time and considered Massachusetts. But then they finally decided to break away and they formed Maine. Please take a minute if you haven't got all your states labeled in. You got to know all of those states where they're located the next time you come to class. So take you a second, teachers, if you need to pause the video, that's, all, that's fine. Let them do that. There's also a video that I'd like you to let them watch that is a man who is drawing on a map. It is really cool. has some music that goes along with it and everything. I hope you enjoy it. See you in a minute. Well, I hope you saw that he was going over all of those states and their capitals. You're going to have to know all of those by the end. So we're going to talk about the capital part now. Oh no, not going to let me quit writing on it. Hang on just a second. Hold that thought. All right, I'm back. So New Hampshire, let's talk about the different capitals. And let me just give you a hint about capitals. The more you say them over and over and over, and the more you study them, you probably will get the hang of which one is which capital. So New Hampshire's capital is Concord. So when you hear somebody say Concord, New Hampshire, you should automatically think, oh, that's the capital, okay? Vermont, kind of an odd word. Montpelier is how you say that. Montpelier, Vermont. Rhode Island. Providence, Rhode Island. Every time I say Providence, I think of Kentucky basketball. I know that makes you sound, it sounds funny. But Rick Pitino, I don't know if you know him. Not many people like him now because now he's at Louisville. But Providence is where he came from. Maryland is Annapolis. And that's where you find the Naval Academy. Delaware, Dover. Dover, Delaware. New Jersey is Trenton, Trenton, New Jersey. Now, I don't know if you've heard that story or not, but there is a story with Trenton where George Washington crosses the Delaware River and he surprises the Hessians, which are uh, soldiers, German soldiers, that the British had hired to fight in the American Revolution. So George Washington decides on Christmas night to go and attack Trenton. And nobody's expecting it because it's Christmas night. And he crosses the Delaware River, and I don't know if you've seen the picture or not. There's a picture where he's kind of standing on the boat, and he's kind of looking like this right here, looking over the water. Well, that is actually from that battle. That, that scene is from that battle of Trenton that they won. Pennsylvania, the capital is Harrisburg. Massachusetts, Boston. Lots of things happen in Boston, especially during the American Revolution. 
Don't know if you've heard of much of that yet, but there's the Boston Tea Party, the Boston Massacre, lots of things that go on, and hopefully we'll talk about that sometime this year. New York, the capital, is Albany. Albany, New York. Connecticut is Hartford. Hartford, Connecticut. And Maine, the capital, is Augusta. Now, if you haven't had time to write these down, if you'll notice at the bottom of your page, you have a word bank, which would make it easy if you can't see this to spell it as well. But you need to study these because the next time you come to class, you're going to have a quiz over where they're located and the capital of each state. Okay? So, good luck to you. I do have another video for you to watch. It's Animaniacs, which is a cartoon. I used to love this as a kid. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye.